Hi people, it's Archivist here, coming at you with yet another Top 5. As I've been playing some World of Warcraft recently, I thought it might be a good idea to make a Top 5 related to it. So, in today's list, I'll be going through my favourite levelling zones in the World of Warcraft. To keep the choices varied, I will only be choosing one zone per continental area. Number 5 Upon arriving in the Grand, I was dazzled by the floating islands. Back in the Burning Crusade, nothing like this had ever been done before. Another thing I love about this zone is how peaceful it feels. Leveling in the Grand can almost feel therapeutic, with all these spectacular waterfalls and rolling fields. Even the settlements work with nature, rather than destroying it. In fact, the Grand shares many similarities with the Northern Barrens. Number 4 Dragon Blight is the zone I always look forward to most when travelling to Northrend, from both an alliance and hall point of view. Primarily, Dragon Blight is covered in snow, however, there are a few pockets of variation. The best examples of this would be the Emerald and Ruby Dragon Shrines, which create a nice contrast against the harsh weather that surrounds their borders. There is also the spectacular Wormrest Temple located at the centre of the land. Another high point of the zone are the quests. There are many major enemies that need taking down, some of which requiring you to bring a few allies. Number 3 one of the most polarising zones in the entire game would have to be Vashir. Some love the beautiful underwater environment, while others hate the place with a passion. I certainly fall into the former group, I love the aquatic world of Vashir. Other than some nice looking underwater ecology, there are also a few places that stand out. These include the Abyssal Breach and the ruins of an ancient Naga city. Also, the fact that this zone is underwater brings in some unique mechanics that definitely make the place stand out. Number 2 Oldham is a land of secrets, treasure and adventure, but the first thing that will strike you about the zone is its sheer beauty. Sand dunes sprawl towards the horizon, a lush oasis streams through the desert, and ancient titan structures retain their beauty after so many years since their creation. A special mention should also go to the Harrison Jones questline, a must try for anyone who considers themselves an Indiana Jones fan. It's number one. Of all the zones that occupy the world of Warcraft, it's the Jade Forest that I look forward to the most. For me, the greatest aspect of Jade Forest is the art style Blizzard went with. The trees alone are arguably the best in the game and even come in many shapes, colours and sizes. Taking centre stage though would have to be the intricately designed Jade Temple. Even the topography of the land itself has been expertly crafted to make every sub-location feel unique. Those are my top 5 zones in the world of Warcraft. If you play well, let me know which zones you enjoy levelling through the most. Also, I would like to take a second to quickly thank a friend for creating my new channel logo. I personally think they did an amazing job. As always, people, thanks very much for watching, and see you next time.